John, thank you for being here. Lovely to see you in this beautiful location, in, uh, even if it's slightly windy. But um, I wonder if you can speak to me for just a few moments, just for my viewers. Um, what was it? So I know, for example, you used to be a carpenter. Um, used to make furniture, is that right? But now you run your own online business, is that correct? Yeah. 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 What, what sort of business do you run um, online? Just if you can tell me. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, just to give you the backstory. Okay, yeah. so when I was a woodworker making furniture for people in my lonesome, dusty workshop, um, so lockdown came along and you know my business kind of evaporated overnight. And I thought I needed to learn how to sell stuff online. That for me was the answer because in, obviously the entire world is moving online these days. And so I went looking for an education and I found the education, how to sell stuff online, okay? Digital marketing, internet marketing, call it what you will. And when I came into, I had, I had no idea what I didn't know. You know, we don't know what we don't know, right? And when I came into the training program, my mind was expanded and this entire digital landscape opened up in front of me. And I was so excited. I mean, I was having sleepless nights, seeing the, the, the magnitude of opportunity. But what I found was high ticket affiliate marketing. Okay. Okay. And I thought, this is my escape room. This is my way out. I, I, if I can learn this, then I don't have to go back to my dusty, unhealthy, <laughs> solitary, underpaid, miserable. It wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't miserable, but it wasn't, it was suboptimal. Yeah. Um, after 20 odd years making furniture. And, and I wanted a way out anyway. And so, yeah, I'm an affiliate marketer. So I now promote other people's products on the internet. And all I actually do is I just, I just move people on the internet from either a social media platform, it can be any of the social media platforms, or one of the search engines. And I, and I move those people by placing an offer in front of them to a solitary web page to capture their name and email address. And, that's, and that really is all I do these days. And those people, some of them go on to buy other people's products and I get paid commissions and the, the business runs itself largely. So do you make a full-time living out oh, of doing yeah, this now? Has absolutely. it replaced your... It, it, it's more than replaced. I've had a number of five-figure months. Yeah. Um, it's like a dream come true. I have to pinch myself, I think. I, I, I say... That if even though I don't qualify for my state pension for another well till next year actually next March 2024, um, I feel like I'm already retired. Yeah. yeah. So, so what does life look like now then for you compared to being at dusty workshop inhaling store dust every day and um, now how does life look for you? Tell yeah, us. Yeah. Well, it's amazing. I mean, I, it, so when I first came to actually trust the business because initially I was obsessing over the bit it was bringing money in but I wasn't sure whether it was going to last or whether it was going to be consistent but after a few months of, of the business gradually sort of growing building I came to the point where I could um, where I could trust the income and and the income's coming in largely in an automated fashion just in the background it just drops into my account in the background without me having to show up anymore. Like there's obviously, there's, there's work to do. There's work to do up front. You have to set the systems up. I'm not trying to kid anybody that it's, you know, a scam or get rich quick or, you know, anything like that. You have to do the work up front. But once the work has been done, then, and, and you've kind of got the machine oiled and finessed at that point that it's profitable, you're able to pretty much take your hands off. Yeah. Okay? So life, so, so I, I came to this point where, first of all, I thought I'm free, okay? I don't have to go to the, I, I, I can sell the workshop. I can get rid of all my woodworking tools. I don't need that anymore. I can rely on this to, bro, to provide me with an income. And, um, and, the, and there, there was a kind of a problem that was associated with it as well, with, it, with this freedom, because Whereas my days had always been occupied with work and deadlines and, you know, just having to show up, all of a sudden now I've got time on my hands. And I did, you know, I didn't even know really what I enjoyed or what I wanted to do or how I wanted to spend that time. And I've had to be very intentional about, re about designing a future mm. that I want to live, okay? And that included moving to a sunnier country, and it included going to the gym and changing the shape of my body and becoming more fit and healthy and more active and um, 
yeah, healthier lifestyle. Wow. Because I'm I'm 65 and I, I, I don't want to I don't want to sort of fade away. I want to keep going for as long as I can. And a part of that is about you know the activity and having the time and and being in a sunny climate so I can do that stuff outdoors during the winter months. I, I was still swimming in the Mediterranean on um, on, on Christmas Day. T- 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 tell us where you live now. Where do you where have you yeah. moved to this sunnier country? Yeah, I live on the Costa Blanca. Um, I'm about halfway between Valencia and Alicante, and it's a little town called Javier on the coast. It's low rise. There's no. It's not Benidorm. It's none of that. No. It's like a little slice of the south of France. It's a little bit upscale. Yeah. It's very stylish. Wow. So you've got quite quite the lifestyle now, yeah, then. Yeah. Yeah. And I've met a whole new bunch of chums, and there's lots going on. Yeah. And it's just brilliant. I love it. And all this came from trying to find a way to sell your furniture online. Yes. Because yes, because yes. of COVID and, and things like that. And you had no idea. No, none. That none, any of this none, existed. None, none whatsoever. None whatsoever. And just out, of, just out of how many hours would you say a day or a week you spend, you have to spend now? Now you've done the work because it, it took some time to set up. Yeah. How many hours does it take now just to run your business, so to speak? Yeah, well, I, I collaborate with one of the other guys in the community and we run these joint Zoom calls. So we do we do four of those a month. Okay. So, that, so, that's, that's, so that's one hour a week. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and then obviously I dip into my campaigns and have a poke around. But uh, the way things are at the moment, everything's running along just fine. Yeah. I don't, there's nothing I need to do. But of course there are emails. Okay. And, and also I, I still quite enjoy the process of writing, even though... Over the last two and a half years, I've written more than 500 emails. So there's lots of content which can be recycled and repurposed for other, you know, for blogs and social media and posts yeah. and so on and so forth. I still, I, I really enjoy the uh, writing process and I find it's a way of processing my thoughts and, you know, I'm doing something that I love doing. You know, yeah. I want to be doing that. There's, there's moments where I want to be doing that. I want to be, I want to be inspiring other people around about my age that yeah. are approaching the end of their careers or their retirement and you know just to let them know that they're, they've got options and just to options. one final question that is fantastic it's so inspiring i mean your story is 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 beautiful especially you know somebody it doesn't matter what age or what time of life you are that you can learn the skills to to do this um, and to make a success out of it so can you just give us a rough idea i know it's it's no results are guaranteed and, and it takes everybody different amounts of time. But how long did it take you from starting your training to start to see the money coming in? Yeah, well, from day, day one was Monday, June the 1st, 2020. Yeah. Okay, it was just sort of perfect timing. And um, I started running my, all my, my, my marketing machine was up and ready for launch at some point during November of the same year. Okay. And I was spent, I, and I, I ran paid ads to move eyeballs on the internet to a web page. And I had three uh, sales in December. I think I was spending something like one fifty or two euros a day. And a lot of people not a lot of money. Know, not a lot of people actually know that it's possible to advertise on the internet for such small sums of money. Yeah. So you can start small. You can figure out the stuff works. You start to gather data. You can improve. But I had, I had three sales in December that paid me $300 in commission in the month. Now, that's not a life-changing sum of money. But what it allowed me to do was pretty much risk-free, bump the budget up the following month. And if I've got 300 euros, now I can spend 10 euros a day because that's 300 euros over a month. And all of a sudden, I'm scaling the business. Yeah. You know, the more you spend, the more... The more eyeballs you move, yeah. the more... Sales you make the more and business comes in. Yeah. And, and and that's the way that's the way the business grew right from the very beginning. Yeah. Amazing. Well, I say your story's so inspiring and uh, you know, you're proof that this works and it, that it is possible, not just to make money online and earn, you know, earn money through in your case, high ticket affiliate marketing, but the impact that can have on your life and your lifestyle, but not just your, you know, how you earn money and how much time you work, but like all the other things about your health and your you know, fitness and, and social life and and all the other aspects that now you've had time to to develop and look into those as well. Yeah, Stuart Ross saved my life. There's a claim, folks. <laughs> awesome. Thank you very much, John. Really appreciate your time.